And welcome to the Washington Box. So we are super excited to share this with you today. Uh, one of the leading props that we've developed recently is our ceiling pull prop, obviously labeled above. Uh, this is a great prop. If you need to train uh, new firefighters on how to pull ceiling, this is a quickly loadable uh, prop that basically uh, is held in by two pins. You see here and here, those two pins hold it in. As soon as we pull those pins, that will allow the entire deck to lower onto these chains. And once those chains are down, that will then allow you to remove the old drywall and put up a new sheet. Hey, so now with the ceiling pull prop put in its uh, loading position, you can see we have two by fours already loaded up into the prop. The two by fours are simple to load. All you have to do is cut them to four foot long. So if you have an eight foot two by four, cut it in half. Then you go ahead and you basically set it on this side and you'll see that there's a notch that it fits into and then they'll allow it to fall into this side where there is no, uh, there's an opening. And that lets the two by four fall in place. And once it's in place, all you have to do is take a standard uh, wood screw and screw them in on both ends and that'll help stabilize it and keep it in place. The other really fun thing to do is since we have this built this way, is we can take electrical line or even uh, air conditioning vent line and we can add that all through here. And basically that gives the, uh, your new personnel an opportunity to like be pulling sheetrock, but also getting caught on electrical, getting caught on uh, all the different stuff that's inside of a ceiling. So uh, it's a really great prop, super easy to reload. Obviously we put this deck down, we would take this sheet out, put another sheet in, and then we're gonna lift it back up and you have two pens here, and each of these pens will hold it in place. The other nice thing about this is, if you went to a smaller, let's just say you went to a half inch, this is five eighths, um, drywall. So at the back of the prop are two heim joints. And the way heim joints work is they, they're basically a swiveling uh, ball that allows a bolt to go through them. And that ball can be adjusted up and down. And what that does for you is it allows you to put in a piece of half inch sheetrock, turn that upwards a little bit and shorten the distance. And now when you clamp it shut, it's tightening up on that back end of the, of the drywall, which will help hold it in place. Obviously, if you look here, we already have the two by fours. We can take and actually screw this directly into the two by fours once it's up in place. So that gives you two different ways of securing the drywall to the, to the prop itself. Uh, these are fully adjustable. If you don't like this level or this angle, you can go ahead and unscrew the link here and then lift it up higher and set it where you feel most comfortable loading and unloading it. To be able to mount our ceiling pull prop, it requires us to get a what's called a high cube connex box. So these shipping containers are actually about nine feet high. And if you think about the standard roof height of a home, it's eight feet. So this allows us to get the ceiling pull prop at nearly the same height as the standard ceiling on your standard home. So anytime that you want to put in a ceiling pull prop, you have to consider the fact that if you use a standard cube, that ceiling pull would be very low. So I don't think that would give you the same uh, authenticity of what you're trying to do. Whereas with the high cubes, and the high cubes come in both a 20 foot and a 40 foot. So if you're ever looking at doing this in a 20 foot, it's possible. We just have to get a high cube versus a standard height box. Push up and lift. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, so, 